Hey YouTube, today I have with me Bastardizer. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> First question for today is tell us a bit about yourselves. Well, we're a we're a, a rock and roll band. We play hard and fast music all the time. How did this band come together? Well, Chris and I started this band. Um, it was actually over a heavy drinking session New on, Eve. on a New Year's Eve um, going into 2013. Besides your heavy drinking session, um, you must have had inspirations growing up to form this sort of genre of rock band. Yeah, personally for me, just watching bands live growing up, I always thought um, I can do that. Okay. I've, tried, I've been in a few different genre bands, rock bands, metal bands. Personally, for this band, it was uh, Venom and Motorhead for me. I'd probably build the same. Yeah, I guess a lot of similar influences in uh, these heavy rock bands like Motorhead and whatever. Uh, there were there were a couple bands sort of doing a similar style uh, in the sort of current era. Bands like uh, Toxic Holocaust spring to mind. I listened to Forces of Evil album, and I like I liked it. And I'd like to ask you some questions about that. Well, the most obvious one is talk about making the album. Yeah, well, from the time uh, that the band started to the time in Forces of Evil was recorded was not a lot of time at all. We um, formed the band and quickly wrote a bunch of tracks and uh, this German label managed to hear a rehearsal demo and then offered us a deal to release a full length album. And there was kind of a bit of a bit of a timeline that it had to be done by. So it was quite a frantic sort of um, race to, to, to write these tracks in time and get them recorded. Can you talk about the writing process when you write songs? Well, pretty much we always write the music before the lyrics. I don't think there's a, ever, ever been a case where that hasn't happened. Sometimes I'll write a lot of riffs at home and then bring them in and show the other guys and they'll add uh, their own ideas to it. There's been occasions uh, where we've all jammed and come up with something and thought, that's cool, let's use that. And uh, we we'll can, can all go, yeah, maybe we should put that here and in regards to structure or whatever. Once the structure's done, I write the lyrics. Bill helps. Yeah, sometimes we, uh, <coughs> we we think of a lyrical theme, yeah. or perhaps even a title, before we start writing the lyrics. So we come up with something that we think is awesome, and go to take it from there. I mean, like listening to your lyrics, yeah. have you had some sort of dark background, or like, how do you come up with that stuff? Uh, how do you come up with that stuff, Chris? <laughs> Not necessarily. Uh, you know, with the whole imagery of the band, you know, it's a lot about. Women, leather, and hell, and uh, you know I'll never run out of material to write about women, leather, and or hell. I'm not satanic at all, you know. Like I, uh, our lyrics could be portrayed as that, but uh, no, I mean they're just fucking cool and yeah. Uh, my question: You got impressive tattoos. Like speaking of artwork, what mm. tattoos have you got on? Like, do you have any other fun? Is there a Nikki Six tattoo on? Yeah, you? yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I've got yeah. And do you have Vinnie Vincent or was Yeah, that yeah. Can we have a look? Uh, my jeans are a bit too tight. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, right. Yeah, no, but basically yeah, all my tattoos are music related. Yeah. Just don't have a bastardizer tattoo yet. Okay. I think I'm yeah. the only one with tattoos, right? No, I have one. Oh, oh yeah? I got one. Yeah. Where is that one? Do you really want to know? <laughs> Can I show it to the Can camera? Show, show, show it to the camera. Show the camera. <laughs> so I guess it needs to be done. It is uh, not music related, it's more drinking related, I guess. Or butt uh, related. But shit. You know, guys, it's my tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen that. Whereabouts is your favourite place to play? Um, only a couple of us got to experience this, but going to Asia, the, uh, the, the crowds were just insane compared to here like uh i think our first gig thailand yeah our first gig was in thailand in bangkok and uh we were on last it was quite a quite a uh, large number of bands playing it was like we we're on 10th or something and the room was just packed very diy sort of venue 
just hot and sweaty. Um, I think we just we just started uh, thrashing out, and I saw I was just playing along, and I saw this baby arise from the top of the crowd, like a sacrifice or something, and um, it's just crazy shit like that you see all over the place. We have funny stuff happening all the time. Yeah. Someone threw a bar, bra at us at yeah. one of our last. The two women doing naughty things to each other in front of the mm. in front of us at Frankie's in Sydney. Yeah. I'm a bass player and <laughs> none such things happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we've had uh, I think one of our first gigs, uh, this guy just smashed his head open in on the uh, <laughs> barrier. There was blood everywhere. But he, he didn't seek medical assistance till the end of the show. What do you think the future of this band is? Domination.